Hi, I'm Princine Lewis with this week's ViewCast. It started with turning a school bus into a classroom of sorts and led to an amazing partnership between rural high school students and the Vanderbilt Medical Center. Barb Kramer has the story. This is some cow placenta and we're trying to get it down to the placenta basement membrane. It's eye-opening for these teens, a major change from their Arkansas hometowns. You won't find a stop sign or a traffic light like going through my town. So. Compared to my high school, we don't have much technology yet. I've never done anything like this. It's pretty interesting. Ten rural Arkansas teens paired with college students and science research mentors spent eight weeks in the summer research program at Vanderbilt. It was funded by a federal stimulus grant from the National Institutes of Health. So this is a uh, model of the x-ray structure of the molecules that we deal with. Billy Hudson's research team had made a new discovery, a novel sulfur-nitrogen chemical bond in cow tissue. So that's how many you add to each cell. The student's well. job was to search for that specific chemical bond in other animals. They looked at animals like uh, sea urchin, anemones, monkeys, humans, to see if the bond was there. And Hudson says the students uncovered remarkable findings that could help fight diseases. They have evidence in six weeks that the bond is in all animals except for sponge. You're actually figuring out something that no one's ever figured out before. I look in their faces and they are excited. Oh, you can't explain it. <laughs> it's a good experience. When the students leave, Vanderbilt researchers will continue the work, keeping the students informed back at home in Arkansas. The teens say the summer research has changed their lives. Um, since being here, I realized that I um, actually could fit in in college. My dreams and future career goals are reachable. I had a really great experience. Like, you know, I spent the summer working on a cure for diabetes. In Nashville, Barb Kramer reporting. The next step in the research is to determine how the newly found chemical bond is formed. Hudson says the findings could help with fighting diseases. Our ViewCast crews followed other amazing students in the program. Hear their stories coming up in a future ViewCast. Okay, who hasn't jumped on the Google Earth at one time or another to see what your house looks like or to see if Google really blocked out coordinates to the White House? Well, here's a cool Vanderbilt connection you can brag about. The creator of Google Earth just happens to be a Vandy alum. 1994 School of Engineering grad Shikai Ohasama helped develop the application that has changed the way people look at the world and their neighborhoods. But the 37-year-old says this is just the beginning for him. You can read his full story on vanderbilt.edu slash magazines and click on the engineering magazine. Here at Vanderbilt, the arrival of fall means a campus packed with brilliant colors. And since Vanderbilt is also a national arboretum, you can enjoy the autumn scenery right here on campus. For those of us who aren't expert dendrologists, there's now a way to know what trees you're looking at, which brings us to this week's Internet Hotspot. Steve Baskoff, senior lecturer in the Department of Biological Sciences, compiled a tour of the trees at Vanderbilt, and it's available online. You can even learn which residence hall has an oak named Big Al standing guard at the door. The Vanderbilt Tree Tour can be found online at cas.vanderbilt.edu slash bioimages. For ViewCast, I'm Princine Lewis.